You. I know last time I let you down, I didn't get you any shoes. So if there's anything in your size, I got you, fam. This is Drake, Mom. It's your favorite rapper. How could you not know? Talk fam, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. We're out here at the Toronto Premium Outlets. I'm here shopping today with my sister and my mom. My mom said that she could take me today, so we're here today. You guys know I don't normally go out shopping, let alone shopping with my mom or my sister very often. So I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. But I've uh, I've never been here my entire life before, so this should be fun. Here's some of the stores they have. They have a Levi's, Lucky Brand, Tommy Hilfinger, as my dad likes to say. We got a Puma, whatever this is, Aldo, Coach. So the Toronto Premium Outlets is basically like outlets, but they have a bunch of like name brand, name brand stuffs here. So let's get it. <laughs> Got the Burberry. This is cool. This is, it's like an outdoor mall with all these outlets. Here's an idea of what we are working with. We're gonna head to the guests now though because I think they're gonna be a while in Kate Spade. And then when there's sneaker stores and stuff, I'll go get my mom. But yeah, you guys know I've gotten lucky with guests before. I got the ASAP Rocky shirts for like $5 each. The so blue navy stripe and the red stripe one. I wonder what they have here. So they got 30 off like all tops and butted down shirts. And even I think some jeans too. Let's see if there's anything in particular though that's really nice. Like you have all these heavily, heavily branded guest shirts. They're all 16 bucks. I like this like olive one. Don't kill me, we have a Hotline Bling guest shirt for, for 12 bucks. <laughs> this shirt is straight fuego. Oh gosh, what are these? Ultra Slim Coop McCrae pants. These have like this waxed, waxed paper kind of feel. What? Careful, you might get a paper cut. I take it this is a new trend polo with like a zipper down the middle so you can access your cleavage easier. Jackets are pretty damn nice too. They got like the biker-ish ribbing on the side here. I might have to try this on to be honest. And we got a black one too. Okay, okay. But here's this jacket from that rack I just showed you guys. It fits really well. I like the like shoulders on it. Here's like a better look at it I guess through the mirror. Fits well. They have a lot of the new denim styles here too, on sale for like 40 or 50 each. Pretty good, but like I'm not really looking for any denim right now. And if they did have nice white denim, they don't have my size. So it turns out these cool jackets from earlier, they're all regular price because they're a brand new item. So definitely not gonna cop any of these. Saucony LS, so let's see what's good. Very last pair of these Sauconies in like a sort of light olive, size 12 last pair. Only 40 Canadian dollars. Pretty cool. See a Reebok and an Adidas outlet. So we're gonna go to the Adidas one first and then the Reebok. Ooh, is that Ralph though? But yeah, Adidas first. Let's see what's good. Here's some of the stuff that are on the like wall shelf thing here. But we're gonna head right to the very back, the hash wall, I think it's called. We got some Jeremy Scott wings, $100 on sale, usually 230. That's a pretty good steal to be honest. We got the white mountaineerings. We got the pride superstars. But none of them, none of them are on sale I think. And we got some Stan Smiths. Nothing on sale though. Here's a look at the size 10 options. But it doesn't look like there's anything really worthwhile. Hey, we got some crazy light boost 2.5. These are super duper similar to the D. Lillard 2 that I'm wearing right now. Alright, let's check out Reebok just for the heck of it. I'm not a huge Reebok guy, but there might be something. I just found these like Reebok Z Cut TR3. They instantly reminded me of some like Adidas tubulars or Nike Fly, uh, not Fly Night, Nike Free Runs or something with this here going on. I'm pretty sure these are the joints that uh, Champ Sports sent out a bunch of YouTubers and I think none of the YouTubers actually like them. Yeah, I'm just not feeling Reebok at all, but we're gonna try and find the uh, Nike outlet because I'm pretty sure they have one here. Hopefully, it's good. It's a very similar layout to the other Nike outlet I was at at Von Mills. 
All right, we're gonna go from right side of the store to left, see what we got. Oh, Bastille, I love Bastille. Hash wall here. We got some Jordan 4 Lab 1s for 30% off. This comes to like 80 Canadian. And I actually have these ones right here Footscape Route Sneaker Boot SP. $60 and then 30% off that. <laughs> we got some Kobe uh, 10s, I believe, 80 bucks. We got the Nike Free Orbits, size 11 for about $70. Man, yo, they have like a full size one of these LeBron 12s for $60. Orbits for $50, size seven. We got these LeBron 13s. I don't even know what colorway this is, but this is for 120 bucks. All right, let's check out this next section of the outlet. We got some Kobe's, 180, 180 blazers for 160. We got these like ugly Christmas sweater joints. 90 bucks, nope, 30% off that, so 60 bucks. These are hideous, and for $60, these are not going anytime soon. Browns here for 60 bucks. Jordans for 120 bucks. Retail price was 240. Oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. 240 for these? These are like the runners my mom got at the Nike outlet a few months ago when we went sneaker shopping last time. If you guys haven't seen that sneaker shopping vlog with my mom, make sure you go check it out. But uh, yeah, for like 40 Canadian, this isn't bad at all. Planet Lunar 3s for 70 bucks Canadian. It's probably the best I'll find, to be quite frank with you. Gotta admit, for $70, this is quite a find. Um, they're really, really comfortable. But I'm not looking for any all white, like black sneakers like this right now, so I'm gonna pass on these. It also sort of looks like the Nike Cortez from this angle. And then we got like three size runs of the uh, these Nike Dunk Low Premium SB Quick Strikes for 50 bucks. I think that's a really good price for these, to be honest. All right, just stepped out of the Nike outlet, and yo, there's bear people out here. Got some cute dogs, dogs fighting each other. Hey, doggy. But we're gonna go down here, snap, they got a hot topic. We got a bunch of cool backpacks here. We got like a Lilo and Stitch backpack, a Super Mario backpack, a Dragon Ball Z backpack, two of them, a cat backpack, a Zelda backpack, so pretty cool selection of backpacks. Famous footwear store, I guess they have a lot of name brands, we'll see what's good. We got a whole bunch of Converse, but like $5 off. All right, so this store is doo-doo, um, but there's an American Eagle. Let's see if they have anything cool in here. I don't usually shop here. Now I remember exactly why I don't shop there. It's not my style at all, but there's an Asics here. Let's check out the Asics outlet. All right, Asics was the complete bust. They didn't have any like lifestyle sneakers. It was all super duper technical runners. But we got a Zoomies. Yo, check this out. We got like a giant taco pillow. This is blessed. I need these in my life. They also have a pizza slice one. Oh my gosh. Next outlet they got is a Puma outlet. So let's see what's good. Puma gave me uh, no love from that Puma event. So that was a bit uh, disheartening, but it is what it is. I actually ended up still buying some Pumas later that week. But let's see what Pumas got. Yo, I had no idea. Um, that Puma made these like Converse clone thingies. They're freaking ugly. Hey, we got the like Ferrari. These are the Ferrari endorsed ones. 75 bucks. We got the whites. We got the black. Puma was doo-doo. And I was gonna say, I thought Air Postel was closed down. It actually is closed down, so nothing there. We got a Skechers outlet. Oh, we definitely have to hit that up. Broadway fashion, what's that? You know what? This Broadway fashion place doesn't actually look half bad. I saw some New Balances in the window. Well, they have like a ghetto off-white brand here, but I'm really surprised they have Collar Clothing, one of my favorite brands. Damn, yo, I actually really regret sleeping on this brand when they were having a sale for their bombers. Because it's 175 here, but it could have got it on sale for like 85 a few weeks back. But this is nice. We got the zipper detailing on the very back. And then they have even more brands here I was not expecting. Like they got Crooks and Castles, and they got some published too on sale. Damn, you're leaving a Billionaire Boys Club, more published, Vitally Clothing or whatever from Toronto. There's a lot of good stuff here, but like I came here for savings, so. <laughs> Let's see if they can get some savings in here. Oh man, it just got lit. We got 25% off 10 deep. We got 30% off Huff, and we got 40% off the hundreds. And we got 50% off a bunch of stuff here. And I see some black scale, which makes me very, very happy. You have never seen anything like this. They're overalls with the biker ribbing and the distressing. That's very different, 75 bucks. I think that's actually a steal for what you're getting, but I'm not in the market for this at all. I cannot wear that. Nice black scale hoodie with some Canadian pride on it. Normally 110, but it's gonna be 55. This might happen, I gotta try this on. Jeez, so 60% off, like the retail price was 400 originally. That's crazy, could never do that. But yeah, 
This is an insane piece. I would, I'd never wear this, but yo, $400 t-shirt. So here's a look at the black scale hoodie. It's a little bit oversized. Yeah. I feel like I might go with the medium though. I might end up getting a small. I can try that on too, but we got the Canada branding on the side here. We got the black scale B. We got the graphic print here. And on the very back, it has this like, those, those like leave things. I'm sure you guys are familiar with those. I know it's like a Quebec kind of thing, like Florida, Florida something. I had a jacket with that print one time. I might have to cop. They got a bunch of Supras in the back, which is very, very sweet. I haven't bought a pair of Supras in a long time. Here we got the Justin Bieber sky tops. We got them Lil Wayne joints for $72.50. This is actually dope. They have the Diamond Supply Co. Like the sneakers they have. I know there was some some uh, hype and attention on these ones, but they got the white colorway. And they got the black colorway. <laughs> All right, we are back in it to win it, going to the Adidas store. Hi, mom. I want to get something for dad's birthday. Oh, okay. So I need... Wait, when's dad's birthday? August 17th. Okay, I'll be ready for that. 16. 60 bucks, yeah. Get an extra large. Black ones? Or black with the stripe or all black? I feel like he'd like the all black, all black. Yeah. So yeah, we were gonna get this for my dad, but there's zippers at the bottom and it's like a slim fit. My dad is not a fan of the slim fit. He likes his like straight cut, wide open bottoms. Not happening. You what you got? Yeah, sure. How much is it? All white superstars, $99. We're here for savings. We're here for savings. That's you not know, a saving. You, you can <laughs> I can I can get my friends at Full Locker and Champs to hook you up. But that's oh, yeah. that's too expensive. Don't kill me. My mom thought this guy wearing the Air Jordan Fives was working for Adidas because he had the Nike or he had the Adidas tag hanging from his T-shirt. What do you think about these all-white tubulars? I like them. Um, what would you wear from the selection here? Um, yeah. Okay, what are those? Is it like snake skin or what? Uh, yeah, it looks like a snake skin, but really, really zoomed in. Coral reef. <laughs> Cheerios. Oh, these are the Adidas LX Lux Cheerios? Yeah. Alright, food. Oh man, it smells good in here. What do you want to eat? Alright, let's get that then. What do you want, huh? It's on me. Lunch is on me today. Just nomming away right now, and my mom just noticed. But the line is massive for the food. We just got here just in time. All right, so we just finished lunch. We're gonna head to Tommy Hilfinger. We're out here trying to find some deals. No deals that we find. I'm gonna go to the Nike outlet now with the mother bear. You excited, mom? <laughs> she doesn't care. Now we're hunting for some more pants for my dad. We got this like gray, black stripe one. Daddy will not like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not dad's style. We met up with Christian, another viewer. Thank you for watching, man. What do you got here? Oh, I got a pair of uh, these. All oh, size 10? Yeah. Oh, I tried these on earlier. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Nice meeting you, man. Thank you again. Cool seeing you. Take it easy. So my mom was sneaker shopping, but she's been in the guy's side for the entire time. Woman's side. Here you are, mom. Here we are. Careful, careful. <laughs> oh, you like these? Right. I like all, all the colors are my favorite. Yeah. Definitely. How much is it? 79. 150, not 79. Oh, oh this one is 79. <laughs> <laughs> That's 150 with 30 off. Got some Jordans, mom. What do you think of these? Yeah, it's a Jordan. This is a Jordan running oh, shoe. I like that. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> it's not the same as my Ultra Boost on Cage, but yeah, it's the same design at the top. Yeah, it's like a sock. Yeah, like a sock. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's too big for sure. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Maybe we can find your size. Yeah, find it. Well, I know it's similar, but it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walking down another aisle of the outlets, we got some more designers. We got Vince Camuto, Diesel, Ted Baker, Armani, D K N Y. So a lot of variety. The thing is, with a lot of these stores, their best promotions they have going for them is buy one get one half price. And finding just the first item is incredibly, incredibly hard to do. Let alone finding two, it's impossible. Some Chewies fam, some Chewies. 
Yo, the amount of people that say they want to trade Chewies for my Jordans is unreal. Right now I'm in the store, I think it's called like Fifth Avenue or something. They have these really dope shoe trees, like wooden shoe trees. Um, but even on sale, they're pretty pricey, $25. I think that's the regular going rate though. If you guys know any place that may be a great alternative, let me know in the comments. But these look nice, these look nice. So this got me tripping now. I look over at this box and it looks like there's a pair of Converse inside of it, right? They look like Converse. Oh, boop, no, no, they're not. They're not, even the stitching at the front looks weird. But then I look underneath and it says Converse, but it's not Converse. It's, uh, it's, it's clearly not a Chuck Taylor or All-Star logo, and it's clearly not a Chuck Taylor or Converse logo. So what the heck? And like every sneaker in the store doesn't have the original box. Like it's just all mixed matched and everything. I actually, I like it. Do you like Some it? all gray joints. They're okay. I think they're okay. So my sister's trying on bare shoes right now. She has like six over there and like two more over here. Like the employee hopping her out went ham. Why'd you get so much shoes, man? Jeez. Crazy. Please kill me. My sister's been here for at least 25 minutes and she can't decide what sneaker. Okay, well then you gotta decide. You gotta cut it down to like your top three fam. Jeez, man. Some Converse, all white Converse. Okay, okay. They have like a different one. Of the shoelace is short. Oh. And they have this so, so that it's not gonna yeah. get loose. So I'll try this, right? Yeah. Yo, my mom and sister are so extra. They undead stock their shoes right away. Bam, we got the gray Pumas. We got the white Converse. We wear our shoes out here. We wear our shoes. Ooh, it's so hot in this car, holy cow. But yo, that's gonna wrap up today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for taking me to the outlets, mom. You're welcome. Uh, if you guys wanna see my mom and sister do more sneaker shopping, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe for some more content. And now I'm gonna start editing this vlog and get ready for laser tag for my birthday party this evening. So I'm not gonna be vlogging that. I'm just gonna kick it and chill. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.